Yes, yes, my people, it's your boy Jangs again. Hope all is well as per usual. And this is just another quick video, player profile, and it's only right I bring my man. Oh, Nana. Because I'm not going to lie, you know me since the start of the season. Matter of fact, the moment they said David De Gea was leaving, it was one of them, this keeper, for me, this is my opinion. You always, as always, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments. But from the moment they said De Gea ain't getting his contract, I was worried. I don't know about anybody else because like I've been saying, I've watched David De Gea for 12 years. And in the last couple of years, maybe last three, four years at United, a couple of mistakes have, have crept in. But the one thing you can never question is the points that David De Gea could save us. And then we get Anana. First game got chipped from the halfway line. I thought, what the hell is going on? Then I watched him again. Dive before the ball even kicked. Dive before the ball even kicked. Jumped in the back of the net to save a goal. I think, nah. We went and bought Shaka Hislop. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, nana. City game is the game for me where Andre Onano changed my opinion on him. Yes, there's still a lot of things that need to be ironed out. But at his age, at this moment in time, first season, new club, I may have been too harsh on him at the start, considering we ain't even had a proper defence. But my problem is, is when he was diving out of the way of the shots. But the last three, four game in the Champions League, City, last two games, we've got a keeper. Now, I ain't saying he's the best in the league or nothing like that, but Onana, at this moment, has started to put the building blocks into place. The one thing is still a mystery to me is this kicking that I've been hearing about the club, boy. Them long kicks over to the top trying to get Rashford or Ganacho in. Needs to be talked about. And I know it's not down to Onana. I know it's down to the keeper. But this guy's doing what David De Gea was doing. But he's getting praise. And David De Gea won't get in praise. Because we ain't playing out from the back. Yes, I know it's because Martinez is not there. But we're not playing out from the back. We're getting it. Then we're going long. That's what David De Gea used to do. I've watched him kick it out of play and kicked it to the other goalkeeper and kicked it to the left and right back many a times. Things that David De Gea didn't do as much as him for a fact as well. But beside that, I want to talk about Anana because like I'm saying, when I was watching him early on, I was thinking, this ain't the guy I wanted from Ajax. It can't be. There's no way this is the same player that was at Ajax. I'll be honest, I didn't pay as much attention to him at Inter because I wanted him to play backup for United, but he went to Inter, innit? I just wanted him to be De Gea's number two and then eventually take over from De Gea, but not in the way or the manner it has occurred this season. You know what I mean? Just a natural transition. That's how I wanted it. But when he went to Inter, I kind of didn't really care about him then because I didn't really expect him to be coming to United, to be honest. To be honest, I always thought United's goalkeeper would have been Diego Costa, Porto. I always thought that's who we'd get, personally. But I'm glad we got Anana. The only mad thing is, when he goes to African Cup of Nation, who do we have in net? Because I remember Goldbridge lying about David De Gea's contract when we know David De Gea came to England to sell his house or oh, whatever it was but it was definitely personal business and he just went to watch his beloved United 12 years you know what I mean it's not an easy thing to get over especially when you thought you was going to get another contract but so far um, he's turning the corner and if I'm being honest United we, we get in them wins we haven't played our full... We're probably the only team that's not played our full-strength team once this season. Probably, I'm not saying definitely. Not an excuse, but it does help. Because 
I watch um, Arsenal v Newcastle. They didn't have Gabriel Jesus and they didn't start Thomas Partey or Odegaard and they didn't look nowhere near the same, in my opinion. Obviously, they watch their team more. So injuries does affect your team, obviously. You see Liverpool when there was no Van Dijk and so on and so forth. So obviously, but the fact that we're still only five points behind Liverpool, you were second or third or whatever, and they're supposed to be having good seasons, and we're playing bad, we're playing shocking. I do see us, ter- there's, there's got to be a point in the season where United go on a good run. Where regardless of how many games we win, I mean, win a couple, draw one or two, win a couple again, and the odd loss, there's got to be, there will be a time in the season that we do that. There will be a time in the season where United play good football. And the fun, the funny thing is, even though I didn't want the, David De Gea to go and I didn't want Onana to come in for David De Gea at the moment, obviously that's a sentimental reason. Like I'm saying, David De Gea is the only keeper I know for 12 years. And before David De Gea, I know Van der Sar. Right? I mean, so my keeping situation, I don't, I'm not going to talk about Bartes and all of them and go all the way that back, but I'm saying in the last let's, the last 20 years of me watching United, I've bad Van der Sar and I've had David De Gea. That's it. I know Tim Howard, and we can go through all of your keepers that was in and around if you want, but I'm just trying to give you a point. Now... We got Onana at what is it, 26, 27? 27. Goalkeepers don't really eat their prime till what? 28, 30. So it could be a good acquisition. And I don't think he's bad now. Um, I was just worried about his shot stopping. Other than that, I think we do have a good keeper. When Martinez is back, I think it will be. When Martinez is back, we'll see the bet. We see a better version of United playing out from the back. Because obviously, them two done it at Ajax. Martinez is our ball playing defender. That's literally his job when we get the ball is to take it out of the back, take it off the defence, which is why we always go to it most of the time, whether it's the gay or not. So I'm expecting when Martinez is back, the defence should be a lot better. Anana's already had about three clean sheets this season. Even though, like I'm saying, we've all been we've been bad. So hopefully a few injuries will come back. And we can get a stronger team. But that's all I wanted to say. I'm glad to see Andre Onana turning it around. Because I had major doubts. You let me know your thoughts in the comment. As per usual, don't forget to like and subscribe.